As time passes, each lifetime harvests the forces of good and evil inherent in human nature. But nature is volatile. This book chronicles an age when the natural balance was disrupted, when men bowed down to oblivion and a terrifying evil was unleashed. Elders who sought to protect the innocent hid the book. So for a hundred decades, these chapters have remained dormant. But the story has to be told. And even now, as the first page turns, the cancer spreads once more. The light succumbed first, as darkness cloaked the distinctive figure of a twisted man. Souls that were not seduced by his power were bridled with pain until their spirits broke. His warped body was a testament to the pain that he consumed. Even his blood curdled as it seeped through his hollow veins, keeping his vacuous heart pumping. But its beat remained strong and constant, even as his hands tightened round his wife's neck. Slowly, he squeezed the life from her fragile body. She had dared to crave intimacy, and after years of chilling indifference, she'd finally turned to one she thought could save her. Nemesis had been her husband's loathed enemy. They became lovers. Tragically, Silver witnessed their infidelity, sealing both their fates. Silver had savored his wife's pain, knowing that Nemesis would be compelled to exact revenge. He was not disappointed. Nemesis saturated his soul with vengeance and planned Silver's demise. But it was Reuben, an acclaimed artist, who finally offered Nemesis ultimate retribution. He created an exhibition of paintings depicting Silver's life. His rival's vanity assured his attendance at the opening. Reuben soiled each canvas until he required only one image to fulfill his vile biography. Nemesis. Silent for Lord Fuse! It is decreed that all women of childbearing age will be taken before the Emperor's silver, so that he may choose a new wife. Any man or woman found impeding this order will be charged with treason and sentenced to immediate execution. You abuse your power. 
This is a violation of our rights. What rights? You belong to the Emperor. He will do as he pleases. Guards, seize the women. No! Not her! Be patient, William. Our time will come. I trust no one else has a problem, because I've indulged your whining long enough. Guards, you have your orders. Move the women to the galleon now! We'll search the outskirts of town and ensure that no one attempts to evade their duty. to practice. You need to practice. Are you in such a hurry to be beaten, Grandfather? Yes. Unfortunately, I'm constantly disappointed. But at least my student has confidence. Now, go into the house and get your blade. Amaze me with your swordsmanship. Oh, I didn't hear you get up. I wanted to practice with Grandfather, but you look so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. Have you eaten? You'll need to keep healthy to have any chance of beating him. I will. Have you seen my sword? Look in the chest. I'm sure you left it there last time. Good luck with practice. Thanks, but I really think I'll win this time. I'm sure you will. Now we can begin. Hold your sword ready and never take your eyes off your opponent. We'll start with some basic moves that will ease you into combat. Now you try. Good. I see I'll have to provide you with more of a challenge. Next, we should try the lunge. When performed well, this move is deadly. Good! A powerful movement. You learn quickly. Now, a swipe requires a little more skill than a lunge, but less accuracy. Stand fast, and in one swift move, swipe hard to your right. Like this. Very elegant. I hope your opponents appreciate such artistry. They'll have no choice. It'll be the last thing they ever see. Always consider your assailant's position. This will help determine whether you perform the right swipe or readjust your stance and swipe left. Your strike lacks confidence. Assert yourself and make full use of your sword. Good. Now we'll try a different approach. One-on-one -on -one combat is rare. It's more likely that you'll face several assailants at any one time. So you have to be prepared for anything. And this move is vital. Very few of your opponents will have any pride, and would rather leap at you from behind than face you directly. Learn this move well. Good! Your offensive training is complete. Now you must learn to defend yourself. Your shield is invaluable when countering attacks. Use it well. You defend yourself well. Your training is complete. Get ready to fight, and show me just how good I am. Uh. Uh. 
Who's winning? I am. I haven't warmed up yet. You're young. It just takes me a little longer to get going. Then I'll leave you be. Besides, I have the washing to do. Fuge! Tell me, are you still your father's lapdog? Don't you ever learn. I should have dealt with you years ago. You're fortunate that I have more important matters to deal with. Your Emperor Silver requires a new wife. He may even choose this delicate creature. And then again, if my father isn't interested, I may take her for myself. I would kill you first. Steady, lad. Listen to the old man. Your wife has such beauty. And I've gained so little pleasure from destroying it. Take her away! I love you, David. How touching. Women are far too weak. Then the men who prey on them must be cowards. Why are you in such a hurry to die? Guards, stay here and see that they get their wish. like they were heading south, towards the harbor. Let's go. We're wasting time. We're too late. This time, but we will get her back. Please, they've taken our daughter. You have to help us. We're old and can offer you little, but... Don't worry. We'll help you all we can. Did you see or hear anything that may be useful? Do you know where they're headed? All the women were forced in the galleon. Fuge and some of his guards got into a smaller vessel. And both ships sailed off in different directions. Unfortunately, I don't know where either one is bound, sorry. Where are all the villagers? Or all the angry husbands? Some of the men have already banded together. They took their weapons and left in the direction of Haven. Will she be all right? They won't hurt her, will they? She's all we've got. I couldn't cope if they... <laughs> She'll be all right, love. She'll be all right. Come on. I'll take you home.
I am the Chronicler. I shall record your adventures in my book of legends. Tell me of your deeds. I have eight children to support and very little money, but I'm a proud man and my only request is that you look at my goods. You've got taste. See you again. <laughs> <laughs> 